Have you ever wondered what hidden secrets lie behind the electrifying legacy of Nikola Tesla, the mysterious genius who revolutionized our world? Brace yourself for a jaw-dropping revelation because we're about to unravel a shocking truth that has been concealed for decades. Beyond Tesla's eccentricities and groundbreaking innovations, there lies a chilling collection of predictions, shrouded in mystery and hidden from public knowledge, until now. Join us on a thrilling journey as we peel back the layers of secrecy and delve into the spine-tingling prophecies that Tesla left behind. Get ready to be captivated, get ready to be astonished, and maybe even just a little bit unnerved by the mind-bending revelations that'll challenge everything that you thought you knew. Buggle up and prepare to have your mind blown as we unlock the untold secrets of Nikola Tesla's terrifying predictions. Are you ready to face the shocking truth? Nikola Tesla's life was more than just interesting, it was, it was a captivating journey that shaped the course of history. Born in 1856 in the mountainous region of Laika on the Balkan Peninsula, Tesla held from a Serbian family. His father, Milutin, a gifted writer and poet, instilled discipline and love, while his mother, Duka, a talented and hard-working woman, nurtured his creativity. From a young age, Tesla immersed himself in his father's library, and his mother's ingenuity had inspired him. As Tesla grew older, his brilliance became very apparent. Despite his father's aspiration for him to enter the priesthood, Tesla's passions for mathematics and science led him on a different path. Surviving a bout of cholera at 17, he struck a deal with his father. If he lived, he would be allowed to study engineering at the prestigious Austrian Polytechnic School in Graz. His wish was granted, and the world would soon witness the transformative impact of this determined young man. The Polytechnic School was there when Tesla's brilliance truly showed. His physics class introduction to Gram Dynamo, a device that was used to direct current to operate as both a motor and a generator, was a turning point. Tesla, though, had a wider perspective. He considered the potential of removing the ineffective sparking connections known as commutators, a concept that his lecturer compared to building a perpetual motion machine. Tesla stuck to this idea despite learning that alternating electric currents held the key. It was during his time working at the Central Telephone Exchange in Budapest at the age of 24 that the answer struck Tesla. While walking through the city park reciting poetry with a friend, a particular verse sparked an idea in his mind. Seizing a stick, Tesla hastily drew a diagram in the sand, forever altering the course of our world. From that moment on, Tesla's legacy would be intertwined with the power of alternating currents, revolutionizing the way that we harness and utilize electricity. His journal from a young dreamer captivated by the image of Niagara Falls to a pioneering engineer who would shape the future of technology and bring light to the world in unimaginable ways. So, Tesla, along with his dreams as vast as the sky, was sought after by electric power companies in Stansburg and Paris. Their mission? To enhance their DC generation facilities, thanks to Tesla's groundbreaking discoveries in Budapest. Yet, despite his remarkable accomplishments, Tesla faced a problem. He ventured into Germany and France, attempting to captivate potential investors with his concept of an AC motor, only to face disappointment. However, destiny had a different plan in store for him. In a twist of fate, Tesla found himself standing on the shores of New York City at the age of 28, brimming with anticipation. As he gazed upon the metropolis, a wave of mixed emotions washed over him. Leaving behind his picturesque homeland, he now found himself amidst a world of mechanical marvels, a land he perceived as raw, industrial, and devoid of artistic beauty that he cherished. To Tesla, it seemed as though America lagged a century behind Europe in terms of civilization. Little did he know that, within this contrasting landscape, his path would cross with one of the greatest electrical engineers of all time, Thomas Alva Edison. Now, let's transport ourselves back to the 1870s when electricity first illuminated the streets of New York. Edison, the luminary inventor, had introduced his incandescent lamp, uh, igniting an insatiable thirst for electricity. His direct current power plant, nestled on Pearl Street in Lower Manhattan, held a monopolistic grip on the industry. But with progress came its own set of perils. In a bustling city, poles stood tall, weighed down by a tangled mess of wires. These wires, ready to strike at any moment, turned the streets into a dangerous playground. Tragically, children who dared to climb those poles fell victim to the merciless grasp of electricity. Amidst this electrifying chaos, Tesla entered the picture. Armed with a letter of introduction from Charles Batchelor, one of Edison's European business associates, Tesla stepped into the realm of the great inventor. With the utmost respect, Tesla handed Edison the letter, which bore the words, My dear Edison, I know two gray men, and you are one of them. This young man is the other. It served as a testament to Tesla's incredible potential. Edison, however, was a man set in his ways, unfamiliar with the realm of alternating current. He saw it as a threat an adversary to be kept at bay, but something about Tesla's presence intrigued him. In a moment of instinctual judgment, Edison made a decision that would shape the course of history. 
He hired Tesla to improve his DC generation plans, offering a daunting challenge with the promise of a hefty reward of $50,000, a sum that seemed unimaginable to the very poor immigrant. And so the dynamic duo was born. Although their approaches to innovation couldn't be more different, Tesla, fueled by bursts of inspiration, meticulously envisioned his inventions before setting foot in the realm of construction. Edison, on the other hand, was a relentless experimenter, believing that invention re required a mere 5% inspiration and a staggering 95% perspiration. They were two sides of the same coin, destined to collide in a clash of ideologies. Once Tesla completed his work, he eagerly approached Edison, expecting payment for his efforts. To his dismay, Edison claimed that the offer of $50,000 was a joke. Tesla, shocked and disgusted as he should have been, immediately resigned from his position. Left without a job and in dire financial straits, Tesla resorted to menial jobs to survive. The story of a foreigner with unique talents who was forced to work digging ditches quickly gained popularity. However, Tesla's luck was about to change when investors caught wind of his unique abilities and approached him with a request. They wanted him to develop a better method for arc lighting, although it wasn't the opportunity Tesla had hoped for. Nevertheless, the group agreed to finance the establishment of the Tesla Electric Light Company. Undeterred by his recent setbacks, Tesla got to work, pouring his creativity, his time, his love, and his expertise into crafting a remarkable device called the R-Clamp. This invention boasted not only efficiency, but also an exquisite design. Unfortunately, Tesla found himself out of his depth when it came to the financial aspects of the venture. All the profits went straight to the investors' pockets, which left Tesla with a stack of worthless stock certificates. But a breakthrough came when Mr. A.K. Brown from Western Union agreed to invest in Tesla's AC motor concept. With renewed determination, Tesla swiftly developed all of the necessary components, devising a system of AC power generation and transmission that would eventually become universally used worldwide. The arduous journey to create the motor was finally over, but a new battle was on the horizon. Tesla wasted no time and filed for seven U.S. patents related to the polyphase AC motors and power transmission between November and December of 1887. This comprehensive patent application included a complete system comprising generators, transformers, transmission lines, motors, and lighting. The ideas were so groundbreaking that they were granted without any challenge, ultimately becoming the most valuable patents since the telephone. On the other hand, a visionary industrialist by the name of George Westinghouse embarked on a daring quest. He had already gained fame for his invention of railroad air brakes, but when he caught wind of Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking invention, he saw a little glimmer of possibility, a missing long link in long-distance power transmission. Eager to explore the potential of Tesla's invention, Westinghouse wasted no time. He made his way to Tesla's laboratory, armed with an enticing offer, $60,000 to purchase the patent. This generous sum included a cash payment of $5,000, and 150 shares of Westinghouse Corporation's stock. Additionally, Westinghouse agreed to pay Tesla $2.50 in royalties for every horsepower of electricity and electrical horsepower of electrical capacity sold. It was a deal that could change the course of industrial development within the United States. So Tesla, filled with a newfound sense of wealth and ambition, immediately set out to materialize his visions. With half of his fortune, he established a new laboratory. I'm oh, sorry, laboratory. Ready to embark on a fresh wave of inventions, but Little did they know, their collaboration would ignite an industrial war of epic proportions. On one side stood Westinghouse, championing Tesla's alternating current, and on the other side, Thomas Edison with his direct current system. The fate of the industrial progress hang in the balance as the nation awaited the verdict, AC or DC. And then one band came up with a solution to both. They said, why fight? Combine! And AC, DC was born. End of video. Thanks for watching. I'm just messing. Amidst the high-stake battle that this was, a macabre twist took place. Inside New York's Auburn State Prison, a murderer awaited his execution, and an opportunity arose to showcase the power of AC. Professor Brown, with secret intent, acquired a used Westinghouse generator to demonstrate the potency of alternating current. William Kemmler, the convicted ex-murderer, unwittingly became the guinea pig for this shocking experiment. No pun intended. On that fateful day of August 6 of 1890, Kemmler met his untimely end succumbing to the horrific spectacle of the electric chair, as I'm sure you knew where this was going. An event that forever branded it as Westinghousing. Despite the ensuing negative press, both Westinghouse and Tesla continued to forge ahead. Their determination was rewarded when the Westinghouse Corporation secured the prestigious contract to illuminate the Chicago's World Fair, a monumental event known as the Columbian Exposition. This grand fair celebrated the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's discovery of America and marked a turning point in the battle between Westinghouse and General Electric, which had recently taken over Edison's company. In a remarkable turn of events, Westinghouse managed to outshine its competitors. With a bold move, he slashed GE's million-dollar bid in half. 
GE's bid heavily relied on the use of costly copper wire to support their DC power system. In contrast, Westinghouse proposed a more efficient, a more cost-effective AC system, catching the attention of the fair's organizers. On that momentous day, May 1st of 1893, the Columbian Exposition opened its gates to an astonished crowd. President Glover Cleveland, with great anticipation, pressed a button that evening, and the fairgrounds burst into mesmerizing displays of light and, well, light, but it was magical. A hundred thousand incandescent lamps illuminated the neoclassical buildings, transforming the fair into a shimmering city of light. Imagine being alive at that time and witnessing that for the first time, witnessing the turn of a generation like that. Woo, baby, it would have been fun. Anyways. At the heart of this luminous spectacle was Tesla, Westinghouse, and their revolutionary AC system. The Great Hall of Electricity proudly showcased Tesla's polyphase system of alternating current power generation and transmission. For the millions who marveled at the fair's wonders, it became abundantly clear that AC was the power of the future. From that moment forward, more than 80% of all electrical devices ordered in the United States would be powered by alternating current. As Tesla delved deeper into his research, he unearthed the astonishing potential of high-frequency phenomena. Building upon scientific advancements made by visionaries like James Clerk Maxwell and Heinrich Hertz, Tesla embarked on a quest to explore uncharted territories of electrical possibilities. His initial aim was to create a revolutionary lamp that would outshine Edison's incandescent light bulbs by harnessing the frequency of sunlight. By pushing the boundaries of rotary AC generators, Tesla encountered setbacks when his machine started to disintegrate at around 20,000 cycles per second. But a groundbreaking solution awaited him, the remarkable Tesla coil, a device that is still significant today, which I'm going to say that again because that's today. Uh, with all the stuff that we have today, it's still significant. With the power of these high-frequency currents, Tesla achieved feats that were nothing short of extraordinary. He pioneered the use of neon and fluorescent lighting, captured the first X-ray photographs, and even wirelessly illuminated the vacuum tube by transmitting energy through the air, an invention that marked the beginning of his lifelong obsession with wireless energy transmission. Through his Tesla coils, Tesla delivered the ability to transmit and receive powerful radio signals. His dream of sending a signal 50 miles to West Point, New York, was within reach by early 1895. However, an unfortunate turn of events struck that same year when Tesla's laboratory was destroyed by a devastating fire, throwing his progress into disarray. Meanwhile, another ambitious inventor, conveniently, Guglielmo Marconi, was making waves in wireless telegraphy. Although his early device had limitations, Marconi gained attention and investments, including support from notable figures like Thomas Edison and Andrew Carnegie. It was not until 1901 that Marconi achieved a significant breakthrough, successfully transmitting and receiving signals across the Atlantic Ocean. Tesla, ever the gentleman, acknowledged Marconi's achievements, stating, Marconi's a nice guy. Allow him to continue his making use of 17 of my patents. However, Tesla's confidence was as shattered in 1904 when the United States Patent Office unexpectedly granted Marconi a patent for the invention of the radio, reversing their previous decisions. The reasons behind this puzzling turn of events remained shrouded in mystery, but some speculated it was influenced by Marconi's powerful financial backing. Tesla, consumed by other endeavors at this time, grew enraged when Marconi received the Nobel Prize in 1911. In a final attempt to claim his rightful recognition, Tesla sued the Marconi company for infringement in 1915, but lacking the necessary financial resources, he could not pursue the case against the corporate giant. It wasn't until 1943, a few months after Tesla's passing, that the United States Supreme Court upheld his radio patent number 645576, giving Tesla a posthumous victory. <sighs> but this tale of triumph came with a twist. The Marconi company during the war sued the United States government for using their patents, only for the court to restore Tesla's patent priority over Marconi's, evading the lawsuit entirely. Beyond all of these accomplishments, Tesla made predictions that would astound and confound generations to come. These prophecies whispered amongst the shadows held the power to transform our existence in ways that we scarcely comprehend. Prediction number one, Tesla envisioned a world where wireless connectivity would transform the Earth into a vast brain, effortlessly connecting every particle and allowing instantaneous communication, regardless of distance. And the instrument that would unlock this marvel? Astonishingly simple, fitting in the palm of our hands, a device we now know as the smartphone. Prediction number two, Tesla foresaw the demise of complex wireless machinery and the birth of a simpler, interfaced, free world. Picture a life where household chores, from managing heat and light to household mechanics, are liberated by the wondrous power of wireless technology. Welcome to the realm of Wi-Fi, where simplicity reigns supreme. Prediction number three, in a time as early as 1898, Tesla imagined an automobile that would possess an almost judgment-like capability, autonomously performing an array of tasks. Today, we see it happen. I don't know how else to say it. We witness the manifestation of his vision, and self-driving cars will dominate the roads, with a company bearing his name leading the charge in autonomous driving. Production number four. 
Tesla anticipated the revolution in transport and transmission as wireless power transmission became commonplace. He predicted a future where motion pictures would be transmitted wirelessly over any distance, rendering previous methods archaic. Just as the electric train surpassed the steam locomotive, Tesla foresaw wireless energy transmission reshaping the world that we know. And it did. Prediction number five. Tesla envisioned flying machines propelled by the wireless energy. Untethered by the limitations of fuel-based aircraft, he painted a picture of a world where international businesses and international boundaries would blur and races would unite through harmonious coexistence. Prediction number six. Tesla dared to dream of photographing thoughts, believing that the images formed in our minds could be captured and they could be projected onto a screen. Draw parallels to the technology of today, like MRI scans, and marvel at the convergence of Tesla's visions with our present reality. Prediction number seven. Tesla envisioned the development of flying machines surpassing the progress made in automobiles. In this future, the challenges of parking and traffic would be solved as soaring towers emerged to accommodate our flying vehicles. Wheels would yield to wings, redefining our concept of mobility. Prediction number eight. After Tesla's demise, his remarkable technology and inventions became the target of government interest. Documents related to his work, including the mysterious death ray, a weapon of immense power, were seized, raising questions about the fate of his files. While some documents have been declassified, the mystery surrounding Tesla's missing files persists, leaving us to ponder the secrets that they may hold. As the story goes, an esteemed electrical engineer hailing from the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, wow, that's a I, it's such a hard name to say. Unrelated, very irrelevant, but whatever. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, you try it. The MIT was entrusted with an extraordinary mission and tasked with meticulously scrutinizing Tesla's treasured papers. The engineer aimed to uncover hidden gems of groundbreaking ideas, potentially of immense value. Intriguingly, the engineer, none other than Dr. John G. Trump, had an extraordinary connection to the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. As fate would have it, Dr. John G. Trump was the uncle of Donald Trump. Before proceeding further, it's worth noting that Dr. John G. Trump's accomplishments weren't to be overlooked. He, he played a pivotal role in developing x-ray machines that offered hope to countless cancer patients. Additionally, his expertise in radar research proved instrumental during World War II, aiding the Allies in their quest for victory. So, let us now explore the mysterious issue that surrounds Tesla's legacy. Upon the brilliant scientist's demise, his vast estate was set to pass to the hands of his nephew, Sava Kosanovic, who held the esteemed position of Yugoslav ambassador to the United States at the time. This familial bond with Tesla made Kosanovic the rightful heir of his uncle's intellectual treasures. However, recently disclosed documents have shed light on a mysterious turn of events that took place. It appears that within the ranks of the FBI, whispers of suspicion and intrigue emerged. Some agents grew wary, fearing that Kosanovic might attempt to seize control of Tesla's remarkable technology and potentially expose it to adversaries. So, to prevent this ominous possibility from materializing, they contemplated apprehending Kosanovic. The motivation behind such concerns was the belief that Tesla's secrets should remain safeguarded, protecting the nation's interests. Eventually, a U.S. court ruling affirmed Kosanovic as the legitimate heir to Tesla's estate. And then in 1952, Tesla's papers and priceless possessions set out for Belgrade, Serbia, where they eventually arrived at the revered halls of the Nikola Tesla Museum. While the FBI initially accounted for 80 trunks containing Tesla's possessions, a perplexing discrepancy arose, only 60 trunks reached their final destination, leaving us to ponder the fate of the missing 20 trunks and the secrets that they may hold. As Tesla took his final breath, John G. Trump, dismissive of his ideas, failed to recognize their true potential. Little did he know that in the shadows of the post-World War II era, the military harbored a fascination for Tesla's groundbreaking concepts. They sought to harness the power of particle beam weaponry, a notion that would later inspire Ronald Reagan's ambitious Star Wars program for the 1980s, but here's where it gets intriguing. What if, even today, the government still holds tightly to Tesla's enigmatic ideas, using them to fuel their covert technologies? Could this be the reason why certain confidential documents related to the genius scientist are shrouded in secrecy? I don't know. It's time for you to dive deep into the realms of Tesla's genius and share your thoughts with us. Leave us a comment down below and join the conversation, my friend. What mysteries do you think lie hidden within Tesla's remarkable mind, or the 20 trunks of stuff that mysteriously disappeared?